Uh, my name is Josh Crosby and I'm an architect. I recall as a little boy that I was just fascinated by buildings and the beauty of buildings and the fact that they were architects as a profession were creating spaces for people to be in, whether it's to, to live in or to congregate in, and I was really drawn to that. We're a gorgeous little boutique design practice. We specialise in resi design, so residential, predominantly beach houses, I guess. It's safe to say that probably 90% of our work would be between Anglesey and Apollo Bay. One of the lovely things, I guess, of being down here is that people's tastes really varies. Our practice very much, we, we try to focus on site responsive and, and kind of responsible or appropriate designs that kind of blend into to the surrounds. And natural textures for us is really important. We use a lot of rammed earth and a lot of native hardwoods as well. And then probably our favourite design elements or languages, as I mentioned before, a big, strong, sort of floating, horizontal, clean, clean, sharp, sort of straight line. At the beginning, we, when I'm meeting with people, well, we try to help them formulate a brief and get an understanding of what their needs are. So that might just be as simple as, you know, scribbling down on a napkin how many bedrooms they need and what their tastes are with styles and preferences. I always try to create a bit of a kind of a mood board, if you like, or inspiration images. Then we evolve those schemes um, and finesse them as many times as needed until they're just absolutely thrilled. And then we've generally got a nice package that's ready to take off. We work with a, a lot of clients who have never been through a development process before. I often ask them and those people will, will need a bit more nurturing and a bit more support potentially. But the most important thing, step one, is for people to find a practice or a designer that they feel really comfortable with. And then sitting down, at least with a couple if you can, the right designer, you get on work really well with them personally, but I think specifically that they're taking a great interest in exactly what it is that you, the things that you like and things that you need. You're probably 90% of the way there to be honest, if you, if you can find the practice and you look at the calibre of the work and you're like, wow, okay, beautiful, we, we're managing all our risks really well here. My advice to someone studying or starting out or coming through uh, becoming an architect would be to align themselves with some practitioners or practices and they share similar values and ethoses with and then that would be a beautiful incubator, I guess, to learn. So yeah, that opportunity to learn and, and be nurtured from other design leaders who have got the time and patience and capacity to help them is an initial step that I could recommend for sure.